CNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have all the indices trading the downside. Dow's off 700 points, 2 and a quarter percent. 3 percent for the S&P or 119 points. NASDAQ 100, 3 and a half percent, 400 points. Russell 4 percent. Everything kind of incrementally getting larger here. 4 percent for the Russell, that's 72. 4 and 6 tenths percent for the semis. That's where we're going to stop. That's off 129 points. So you've got gold down two and three tenths percent or 45 bucks. Silver's off three and a quarter percent, 71 pennies, trading out at 2121. Lights recruit up a buck 11, 121.78 is the print there. Natural gas off 22 cents. 30 year treasury down almost three points, 132.22 is the current print. So, what's all that mean? Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left. We can see that price is testing a swing point. That's the swing point for May 20th out there. This is the September contract that we. We are looking at 3810 is going to be the key level to be watching as we come into the close. A close below that could, in fact, set up an A to B equals CD to the downside, or really just further the existing A to B equals CD to the downside. You've got that spot volatility index well above its 50 day exponential moving average. So that is a bearish directional signal for the S&P 500 and the ES mini. If we take a look at the NQ, it's also testing its May 20th swing point. So the number there to be watching is 11,521 and a quarter. Now, if price closes above that, you could have a test and rejection on lighter volume. I don't know if it will be with lighter volume or not. Uh, the same thing for the ES mini. And if it is, then you've got a, if it is on lighter volume, then you've got at least a uh, move up to, um, well, we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. The U.S. dollar index has run into resistance or potential resistance. That's the top of its weekly profile. And that's up at the 104. 80 level. Gold uh, has taken a round trip. Uh, it's just going to be consolidating now for several weeks, three weeks plus in between its uh, daily profiles between 1813 and 1879. Price right now trading back into a support area on a daily basis. Silver has really been consolidated with inside the bottom and center of its weekly profile. And that range between between 2103 and 22.26. Lightspeed Crude is attempting to close above the top of a daily profile, 120.99. If it does that, it just brings that 126 level into play. Natural gas just uh, trading between trendline support and its TD9 count top up to the 943 level. And you can see the 30-year treasury busting through its swing point from uh, early May out there. That suggests even lower prices. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Monday, have a magical one. Thanks for tuning in.